not been vlogging for a few days. It is 90 degrees here and we have no air conditioning. I just finished my clients. It's like six o'clock. So I took an Uber to the fourth arrondissement, which is a district. The fourth is a really nice area with lots of shops and restaurants. So I'm just walking around. I just hit Koss. I just hit Echo. I tried on their loafers. And now I'm like walking 20 minutes to a couple more shops. I'm looking for a black dress. Oh my god, I just bought the cutest loafers ever. Oh my god, when I say this store is amazing, it is amazing. been in the 90s and we don't have AC so it's literally a sauna in our apartment like the second I shower I'm sweaty again we do have a fan we had two fans one of them broke it's like overheating I'm kind of afraid to use it because it gets so hot is breaking it is raining and it feels like it's in the 70s right now i got so dehydrated and overheated and it was so stuffy in our apartment and one of our fans broke so yeah i like wasn't sleeping i've just been having a rough couple days i've also been having a pretty serious problem with our apartment uh when we moved in a month ago it was covered it's covered in cat hair and I have vacuumed, I have cleaned. I've been having to take my asthma rescue inhaler about 10 times a day, which is like so bad. So I'm walking to get dog food and a Swiffer and I picked up some like non-toxic cleaning solution that I can use on the floors and hopefully it'll be better. But yeah, when you wake up in the middle of the night five times, not being able to breathe, obviously you're not sleeping well, so. I haven't been sleeping well for almost a month and it's like catching up to me and I'm like worried that I'm gonna have to like break this lease and find a new place to live. Mm -hmm. 
I wanted to give you guys an update and forgive me I literally haven't been sleeping so if I sound like sleepy that's that's why I mentioned that I've been having extremely bad asthma where I'm staying seems to be triggering pretty severe asthma attacks <sighs> last night I got woken up again um, feeling like I'm breathing through a straw like I could barely breathe I took my inhaler twice and it just like stopped working like I've taken it so much I think that like the asthma was winning over the inhaler and I started researching if you could like overdose on an albuterol inhaler and turns out you can turns out if you have too much it can lead to death but in the meantime you're getting you can get like tingling in your hands and feet your heart can be racing there's like all these side effects some of which i was having last night i had the worst asthma attack of my entire life i just couldn't breathe for hours there's something wrong with where i'm staying i'm allergic to a lot of things that potentially trigger asthma but it, it I've never had it that bad, so it means whatever I'm allergic to, there's a huge amount of it there. We were supposed to be staying there for another eight weeks. It's kind of an emergency for my health, like I have to leave. Uh, I booked a hotel room and I need to figure out like what we're gonna do. I need to figure out where I'm gonna stay, if I'm going to stay with the dogs and how we're gonna get home if we choose to come back to the US. I left still having asthma but i can't really take my inhaler just because i feel like i'm like going to overdose if i keep doing it i took it one more time after i left the apartment and since i've been in this hotel room like things have really calmed down which is good it's really unfortunate i owe another month's rent to get out of the lease you have to give 30 days notice yeah so this has been difficult hopefully tonight i will get the first good night's sleep that i've gotten in like a month my health has really been putting a damper on like how much i'm able to enjoy paris it has still been amazing but really i've been like dizzy i've just been kind of like just trying to survive trying to see clients it it really has not been an ideal situation last night it turned into an emergency like i thought that maybe if i just kept taking my inhaler i would eventually get used to whatever was in there and it would get better but it's like last night it turned into like an emergency situation so i i have to take care of my health it's like 5 30 p.m here i was at a coffee shop earlier trying to figure out what to do um i spoke to the landlord and explained the situation we were trying to come up with the solutions but I think right now I'm going to call United Airlines and see, I don't know, I think we're gonna come home early. It's a bummer, but I mean, obviously there's way bigger problems in the world than not being able to stay in Paris as long as you'd like. The biggest thing for me is my health and making sure like I'm not being exposed to anything like super dangerous, like black mold or asbestos. Like I don't know, it's a super old building and there's no AC so it can get really humid and there's no fan of the bathroom which is typical throughout Europe so that's just like there's more of a risk of like mold building up you know also the air quality in Paris has been notably bad like I've been uh, checking the weather and it said the air quality outside is really bad too and it gets worse the pollution gets worse in the heat and so it's been like in the 90s it's just been like a really bad combination that sent my health into a spiral i'm still wheezing but it's like it's a thousand times better than what it was this morning like what it was this morning i was like i was like bent over trying to catch my breath i'm having a little bit of chest like not pain but just like tightness I've been coughing a lot, so like I just feel like my airway in general is just a little bit sore. So that is the update. I'm in full surrender mode. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Right now, I'm just gonna try to get some rest in this hotel room. Where I'm staying, the 11th, is a super cool area full of young people, and it's kind of like an up-and-coming area, and it's kind of where you would live if you wanna actually really feel what it's like to live like a local. So that was kind of the experience I was going for. Part of why I love traveling is 
putting myself in the experience of another, like another culture, a local. It's really like the experience that I'm after. And like that allows me to have like different perspectives. Like when I return home, like I can just have like a more full perspective of like the world. Like the solution place that I was looking at last night at like two in the morning is not feasible. And Airbnb, the prices are even worse than that. Um, or nothing is available this short notice or you know obviously I have three dogs which makes things harder so I have to book a pet friendly place I think honestly I'm going to change my flight to the next couple days and then just probably pay what I need to pay um, to, to break the lease and and go from there and right now we just moved out of our apartment back in the US um, it's barely been a month that we've been in Paris, and this was supposed to be three months. Okay, so update. I've been in a hotel. This is day two that I'll be staying in a hotel versus the apartment. And I spoke with the landlord and we're ending the lease. I still owe 30 days of rent, which sucks, but I have renter's insurance through this French company, so they might be able to help me. I filed a claim just saying like, I don't have a place to live because my place is making me sick and I can't stay there. So let's hope they come through. So I changed our flights from November to tomorrow. So it's my last night in Paris. So I'm just packing and getting ready, getting the dogs ready. That's because everyone stays up to like four in the morning here. Uh, it is 7.30. I just checked out of my hotel. I'm walking back to my apartment. We're gonna check out with the owner, hand over the keys, get the dogs ready, and then go to the airport. So I have an Uber scheduled to take us to Charles de Gaulle. And yeah, everything should be smooth. Hi, little street. 